Yeah. They're probably not going to thank you because it's going to be harder. It'll be different, not always harder, but. Right. So sore last week. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Kathy, do you want to tell your screen down a little more? Yeah. All right. That way I can see you. There we go. Okay. So we'll start with the usual stretches. I'll start with leg straight up, hamstring stretch. So how did you notice you had it? Your foot just started hurting more, just walking around? You know, it started very gradually. And okay. by Friday, I could hardly walk. I was hobbling all over. So I made an appointment. Okay. And Saturday, it was almost gone. It was like, oh, shoot, I made an appointment for Monday. Right. Uh, but then it started getting worse again. Okay. Who'd you go see? Um, Dr. Um, Robison, Robison. Oh yeah, yeah, in Mill Valley, yeah, he's good. Yeah. Okay, and so is it a stress fracture? Is that what he said? Or is that a break? He, it's a break, yeah. Okay. Well, I, it's not displaced, he said. So. Right, Yeah. but it's more than just a little stress fracture crack. Right, he said it was broken. <laughs> Oof. And you didn't roll your ankle or anything lately? No, no. All right, let's go away from the body. Hmm. That's scary. Yeah. He said sometimes this happens and people yeah. don't die. He didn't listen to the slow, quiet warning signs and here it is. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't walk around much barefoot, do you? I hardly go barefoot. Yeah. Did you get different shoes? Lately, I have I have shoes with orthotics, and so that's what okay. I mostly wear. Okay. But whatever I did, I think I did it when I was barefoot doing exercises yeah. on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't take much sometimes. Oh, what is What's going on, Kim? I don't know. My muscle is like not behaving. Okay, I'm fine. You're cramping up. Yes, I, uh, I'm drinking water. <laughs> okay, let's take your leg across your body. <clears throat> oh, water and Pedialyte. Oh, Pedialyte even, huh? Yeah, it was one of those nights where I kept having to hop out of bed. Like, Ow. yeah. <laughs> Somebody was telling me about these tablets they take and they're, I think similar to like the, what's in pickle juice, but they're chewable tablets you can buy. And oh. they have like sodium, potassium and other electrolytes and they're like chewable tabs. And she's like, I swear within like 30 seconds, the cramp goes away. Hmm. Oh, I'll have to, I'll have to investigate that. Cause yeah, I go to like Whole Foods or something like a good earth. And ask yeah. I tend to get uh, dehydrated really easily. Sometimes it's your electrolytes that get off, not just the water. Yeah, right, right, right. And the downfall of Pedialyte, there's a lot of sugar in it. Okay, right, let's go into figure four stretch. I buy the powder because it tastes better. Uh -huh. and, I dilute, and I dilute. Yeah, you do like twice as much water. Yeah. Yeah. Are you okay with that, Carolyn? Yes. Okay. Enough padding on the boot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did Dr. Robinson make your orthotics as well? Um, uh, or his Dr. counterpart, Hannaford, before him? Before him. And then okay. Dr. Robinson modified them all. Right. Okay. So he already had x-rays of me and stuff. It was good. Okay. He knew you. Yeah. It also helps to be able to get in quicker too when you've already been an established patient. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had a bruised bone on the bottom of my foot when I was younger from right where my soccer cleat always hit on the same part of my bone. 
And it was very painful. So I can understand how you could not walk if it was broken. <laughs> I believe you. Because a bruised metatarsal hurts. Hi. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Are you going to the bank today? Okay. All right, let's go away from the body. Okay, let's go across the body. So besides booty soreness, what else got sore last week? Anything else? Yeah, my calves were sore. So I think that stretch the on the stair was good. Yeah. Yeah, we hadn't done that in a while. I mean, we do those lifts all the time. But, but then um, going into that negative position. Yeah, it was good. Uh, good, okay. We won't be doing those today since someone's in a boot. Okay. <laughs> you got out of them. You're lucky. Great. <laughs> I thought you were going to make me do them all on the other foot. Yeah. Carolyn took one for the team. She got you out of a couple exercises. <laughs> we did, we did yesterday, though. Figure four stretch. We did it, yeah. Lori, are you due for your trip up the hill today? Oh, no, I went um, day before yesterday. Okay. I'm off early today. That's what I was asking if you wanted to go. Wait, what, what? I'm off early today, so I could be at your house by like 5.30 if you want to do it. Oh, I would love to. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come, okay. on, come on over. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, I'll text you when I leave here. Okay, perfect. Cool. I feel like I need a hilly hike today because my oh, I love it. flat lately. I love it. Great. And I haven't gone like we went that one time at the beginning of the pandemic. I don't think I've gone since. Yeah, I I thought, yeah. I was thinking because I had such a hard time coming down from the trail that you didn't want to hike with me anymore. I was like, oh. <laughs> an old lady. One step at a time. <laughs> I have my not good hiking shoes today, so I won't be going fast either. Oh, good. Oh, good. Okay. 
Let's go ahead and go into our sideline quad stretch. See if you can grab onto your boot. If not, maybe put your strap around your shin of your boot. <laughs> you grab it, okay? I can, yeah. All right, good. Go off. <sighs> You're doing the hard ones today, huh? No, I don't know. You just grab whatever one's the closest. No, I want to do this on my back. Okay. My back has been hurting lately. All right. These things. Posture, posture, posture. Helps. Put and the little plug in this. Yes. You want to slide out. Okay, let's roll over. I can get it, yep. Okay, so I wanna try having you do a little something different. Okay, I will get my chair. leg marches first. Can we make everybody do these next week? They're harder. <laughs> yep. They're harder. So 
Yeah, the big thing is try to make sure you get those glutes and abs really tight so that as you lift the foot, you don't rock or drop and lose height. I cannot do the knee. Oh, I get it. It's fine. <laughs> it's better than dropping it in there. Thank you. We're almost there. And down. Good. So then everyone put on whatever ankle weight. We're going to do all three direction leg lifts today. So we're going to do on our back and then bottom leg lift on our side and top leg lift on our side. So Carolyn, put on whatever weight you feel like kind of matches the weight of your boot. <laughs> okay. Maybe like two, two and a half, I'm thinking on your other leg, but I think your boot should be heavy enough as low. <laughs> heavy enough. Boy, Carolyn, I think you're really brave to do it at all today. She well, called ahead, so it's easy to plan. <laughs> yeah. You're not the first person to try to get out of exercise because you got a boot on. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you could modify things. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we'll start on our back. One leg bent to save our back, the other leg out straight. And then really fire your quads. Really think about pulling your kneecap up towards your throat. And then lift your leg just about 12 inches off the ground. Hold it. One, two, Three, down slow. I'll tell you when to switch. See you later, Ingrid. You're very welcome. Yeah, Ingrid decided to come back to the gym because she missed the leg press. I understand. Yeah. And me yelling at her all the time when she comes in. <laughs> and saying, I haven't seen you do that in a while. You're like, you're right. I haven't. <laughs> and then I make her do it. Danielle, do you have the same lunch break time every day or is it different? Mostly. Sometimes it'll move 15 minutes or something if we need to, to be able to get a new patient in or something. But around the same time ish yeah what what it, what time is that ish i would say it's typically around 12 30 12 45 for a half hour oh okay yeah okay okay let's go ahead and switch sides carolyn was that heavy enough yes yeah I Ready, go. Make sure this kneecap stays tight, right? Literally try to pull your kneecap up. Because if we are lazy at the knee part, we're gonna feel it more in the hip flexor. Keep the knee tight too. Yeah, I felt, I felt it in the hip flexor on the other side. Yeah, keep the knee tight. Lori, can you see the computer? Yeah. So this was my my grandma making polenta on Christmas. Oh. And, and Vito watching. Oh, cute. <laughs> How is grandma? She's doing all right. I think Easter helped to have everybody get together for the first time and oh. song. It was nice. Oh, good. Yeah, my aunt finally sent me some pictures, so. Oh, nice. And you can show me some more later today when you come on. I can. Cool. You know, I love looking at pictures. I know I might end up doing the splits down the hill today. I got not such good hiking shoes on, but I don't want to go. And then one day you got to come over here. They did a whole new, out by Trader Joe's, they did a whole new path all the way out to like the point where the ferry is. It's nice. Oh, 
No. Not the other day. Okay, let's go on to our side. Pick a side, any side. We'll start with bottom leg bent at kind of a 90 degree angle out in front of us and then top leg straight and bring your leg slightly back. So if you can't keep balance, take that top, bottom leg forward more so you can take your top leg back more. Okay, because I want my leg behind me. Okay, same thing, keep the knee lock, make the lift come from my side booty. Ready, go. And try to get up to body height, hold it there, and then down slow. Lori, can you go a little higher? Yeah, oh yeah. I, 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 there you I, go, about I, that I, high, I, use I, the camera. I'm having a hard time seeing it because the, the glare. The, oh, there, that's better. Yeah, so go up to body height, hold oh, it, I see. and then down slow. Oh, okay, thank you. And as you get tired, make sure that leg stays behind. If you can look down your torso and see your toes, your leg's not back far enough. Makes your butt burn more if you keep that leg back. <laughs> you can say that again. Woo. I know I haven't done these ones in a while. With weights on, we did the circles and things, but. Yeah, this is good. Everyone's, I remember when I ran class and Rebecca wasn't here and I took everything back to the basics. Everybody always died. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go slow, controlled, one muscle group at a time. It's very effective. Okay, so then let's take your top leg over in front. So stay on this side. And that bottom leg is gonna be really straight. And now it's gonna be in line with your torso. The top knee is resting down on the ground. Bottom leg, knee lock straight, right in line with my torso. This one, I don't want it back and I don't want it forward. It's right in line with my torso. Okay, ready, go. Kathy Ann, we're lifting the bottom leg. Kathy Ann, bottom leg. Lift your bottom leg. Over the bottom. Lift the bottom leg. Ah, okay. Top leg is down. I see. Okay. The inner thigh, I get it. Yes. I guess that would have helped to say what muscle group. Sorry. <laughs> that was a workout on my butt doing this. Yeah. Stuff. <laughs> it's like a reverse clamshell. <laughs> yeah. Make sure that bottom knee staying locked straight. I'm starting to see some soft knees. Oh, that leg isn't going up very far. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost there. Five seconds. Oh, good. Oh, man. All right. Roll over. Same. Oh. So let's start with the bottom leg lift so that the leg that just worked can rest. So top leg bent over in front, bottom leg straight. Locked nice and straight. Keep that bottom leg right in line with your torso. Lori, we're on our side. Oh, 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 oh. Can we already do leg lifts on both sides on our back? Yes. Okay. I, 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 All right. Lock those knees straight. Leg right in line with your torso. Ready, go. We did leg lifts on both sides, didn't we? On our back? I, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just. Okay, just making sure. I was not bottom leg lift. Oh, what? That leg just worked. Let it rest a second. Oh, okay. We're all mixed up today. Danielle. 
not be giving good directions. <laughs> <laughs> excited we're gonna go on a hike today you're already thinking about that yeah and and we can always go on a flatter one so that you don't have to worry about that's all right you know, i'll risk doing the splits it's fine <laughs> there should be a little bit of grass growing on the edges i'll just walk on that oh yeah there is a beautiful wildflower I know, that's why I want to go up by you. I know it's that time of year. Yeah, gorgeous. I took some gorgeous pictures on Sunday of the flowers. We're getting some bent knees. Relock those legs, ladies. Squeeze those thighs tight. Reach your heel across the room. <laughs> Carolyn, does the weight feel pretty comparable? Uh, I don't know. I'm having a pain right here. Okay. <laughs> You're pushing down hard with the top leg, probably. Try not to push down so hard with your top leg. Okay. Now switch. Bottom leg bent over in front, and then top leg straight back. Remember that leg being forward helps so that I can take the top leg back. Right, again, reach through the heel. Ready, go. Now, do you get tired? Take a peek down your torso if you can see those toes. Take your leg back a little more. If you can't, you're doing good. Lori, is your construction finally done? Oh, yeah, on my house it is, but not on okay. the complex. Yeah. I haven't noticed any loud noises, so I thought it might be the case. <laughs> right, they are no longer here. Okay. I know. It's been such a relief. Ten more seconds. Keep getting that leg up to body height as your booty's burning. And done. Okay, take the weights off and then we'll do clamshells next. Good news, 10 minute countdown. <laughs> oh, wow, this is going so fast. Well, when we do the everything two sided, it takes longer. Mm -hmm. Get through stuff. Feel <coughs> this tomorrow. <sighs> All right. In that position, Carolyn, if you want to just stay on the ground and not do the side plank one today, I get you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. Ready? Go. Make sure those hips stay stacked. No rolling back. Pause at the top. Slow descent from the top all the way down. Don't let the top come fast and then only the bottom half be slow. Equal slowness the whole way up, whole way down. A little pause at the top. Thank you. 
Okay, other side. Ready, go. All right, let's take that band off and we're going to go into all fours and do bird dog. So make sure you have room to reach one arm out and one leg out without kicking anything. <laughs> and Laura, yeah. don't worry about reaching your arm, just lift it just off the ground. Okay. Those of you with um, wrist issues, make sure your hands are on the solid ground and not on your gushy mat. And I'll save those. All right, we're just gonna go 90 seconds, so alternate sides. Okay, ready, go. Or is your shoulder doing okay? Yeah. Okay. And don't lift it too high if it hurts, right? As long as your hand's off the ground, it's still making your core work and your butt work at least. Okay, yeah, I'm not going very high. <laughs> yeah. Uh, at least I can do it. I was afraid I wasn't gonna be able to do it. Yeah. <sighs> All right, good. Oh. Now let's all have a like three to eight pound dumbbell available here. And we just need one. And what we're gonna do is come down into our half kneeling position. And you're gonna hold the dumbbell with one hand on the <laughs> And we're going to do what's called a chop. So you're going to take the weight from down by your hip <coughs> to up over your head on a diagonal. Okay, so one leg's out in front, one leg's down, my leg's 
feet hip width apart. Facing forward more, straight arms. You're gonna go down by your hip on those flying over. <laughs> up overhead, down by your hip, up overhead. Okay, we're gonna do a minute on each side. All right, ready, go. I could bring one arm up. Well, do you have a dumbbell? Me? Yeah. No, I can't even lift my right arm. I know, arm. but your other arm would help lift it if you were holding a dumbbell at both hands. Oh. You know what I'm saying? I do. I, I'll get it. Even if it's light, it'll just, you know, both hands will help each other out. I see what you mean. Yeah. It'll be a partnership. So hold on to the ends. Okay, I see. If your left arm, make your right arm go up. Oh, I see. Like the pulley. Yes. I am. Okay. And do I, what you can, but yeah, sister okay. work here. That's a good idea. Because <sighs> using it's better than not using it at all. Oh, I know. I, I've been doing my arm exercises. Okay, so switch legs, and then we're going to do arms on the opposite diagonal. I get balance, nice narrow stance, just hip width apart. Okay, ready, go. And that's easier for you, right, Lori, than the other way? It sure is. That's great. I'm glad you yeah. noticed. I didn't even. You're just a quitter sometimes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a wimp. I'll make you do it. I know. You know. <laughs> well, I know when, when to say no. I get what you're saying, but you can oh. move with help. Oh, I know. I know. You know and what? making you do all the shoulder blade stuff has gotten you through most of the pandemic without needing surgery. So that's right. That's right. And I'm ready to call center as soon as our class is over. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it's really gotten painful now. Like, All right, I think I'm going to lose you guys in a few seconds, so we'll finish this, and if you guys can finish up with your half kneeling stretch from that position, and those of you who can do your calf stretch, those are the only things we didn't get to. Okay. Okay, so do your hip flexor stretch about a minute on each side, and your calf stretch a minute on each side, and then I'll see you guys next week. Thanks, Danielle. Right. Okay, Carolyn, keep me updated of what we need to do.